All right, what's going on, guys? So today I got my boys Javi, uh, badass and a sexier, and he wanted to do something a little different than everybody else. Make that big break so that. shout out to Javi, first of all, for letting me take his beautiful NSX apart and uh, test out the big break kit. So we already came here uh, before and I uh, had some measurements going and I came back and everything is bolted up and ready to go. So today we just got a quick install video. It's gonna be pretty short. It's not gonna be that long because I have another video there for the RSX and stuff. If you wanna get in depth, uh, bleeding the brakes and all the miscellaneous. But today's video is gonna be very, very simple. Uh, the calipers get machined. All right, so that's what allows it to be just a bolt-on kit. So I know you're going to see that on the website. So you don't have to drill out your knuckles like you normally would. So these knuckles don't get drilled out. The only thing that you have to do it is cut the brake dust shield because with uh, OEM brake dust shield, does not fit. So that is one of the only keys that you have to do to eliminate in order to run uh, the big brake kit in the front. All right. So with that being said, you're gonna be getting the rotors. These rotors are to clear the hub because the hub on the NSX is a 70.1. So you're gonna be getting rotors just for that. So you can see here, all right? And then in order to center the rotor properly within uh, the caliper, we have machined some brackets. So you can see here, and these brackets are gonna be going behind the rotor just like so. You can see here, obviously you have to line it up. Uh, one thing I would say is that we were just testing it out. There you can see here, there's two shims here, but when you get your kit, it is just gonna be one shim. We were just trying to figure out where in the center the rotor needed to be, but we got it figured out. And you can see here, you would just put the rotor, uh, the shim behind the rotor, okay? Just like so, but you can put it on first and then throw on the rotor, all right? so. Do that, throw it on, and then you will go ahead and throw on the caliper. Um, as you can see here, all right? So you just throw it on. And then one thing about the NSX is it does require uh, longer bolts. So that is one thing I will be giving it to the NSX. Uh, the bolts are just a little bit longer than the normal everybody else kit. So if you have an NSX, make sure you leave me a note there on the website. Otherwise, you will not be getting um the right shims so they are a little bit different than everyone else so um it is pretty simple it is not rocket scientist like i said you will um put the shims and then you put the rotor on and then you will go ahead and just bolt it up there are going to be 17 millimeter bolts here in the back as you can see here it just goes and it bolts up so you can see there's no need to drill out the spindles or do anything else all you do is bolt it up so you can see here so that is it and the brake pads it will come with the brake pads so this is a tls um big brake kit that i machined and then modify with the shims to properly fit in the center so hopefully that is a quick overview of the kit once again, shout out to my boy. Shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to you. Because without you, it wasn't possible either. So um, we're going to be go ahead and get that done. But you can see here, the pads are in, the pins are in, and then it is spinning freely as it should. Ooh, Super Ooh. smooth. So there you go. Hopefully this video is helpful for anyone that is interested. All right.